everybody, welcome back to Champion Risk Collection. And the reason why I'm talking so fast is because we are reviewing the girl, the myth, the chick herself, Racing Center Cruz Ramirez from Cars on the Road. Yo! Yes, finally, after days of waiting for this very day, I'm finally getting to unboxing this absolute beauty. So come through. So come with this journey of me of the first of December for reviewing the Racing Center Cruz Ramirez. Can I put my balls in your dog? Can I put my balls in your dog? Before I get to reviewing this absolute awesome car, I'm going to be showing you guys my collection of Cruz Ramirez from Mattel. Starting off from the beginning, here is regular Cruz Ramirez. This one's made out of plastic because I got her in the 2017 set, Fireball Beach Run. Here's the second one. Well, this was actually the first Cruz Ramirez I ever got. It's uh, Cruz Ramirez from the Crazy 8 Crashers. It still works. Whoa! She went crazy. Whoa! She went away. Anyway, the next one I got in 2020, Rocket Racer Cruz Ramirez. The next one I got earlier this year, 2022, is the Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. She looks very odd for some reason. The next one is the Rusty's Cruz Ramirez, which I got her in July. And there's like a little scuff on her tire. That's odd. Actually, I'm going to leave her back there. And the last one is Dynaco Cruz Ramirez Color Changer. The reason why she looks like in a mixture of yellow and orange, it's because the temperature here... Uh, where I live is extremely cold and Cruz is kind of turning orange as you can see that happened with a lot of my color changers like Here is Jackson storm as a color changer. For example, he's not really a light blue as shown in the artwork He's like a mixture of blue and black Here is cars 3 McQueen from that video He's like an orange now kind of like Cruz Um See one that's actually noticeable. The king. The king's now like a dark blue. But anyway, let's take a look at Cruz's packaging. I've already wasted too much time. So on the not really tread says Racing Center Cruz Ramirez. There is a map in the background with Cruz's diecast, metal logo, three plus Mattel. Here's our artwork, which actually is different. Even in the show, you could notice that Cruz's artwork is different. As you can see, this is what Cruz looks normally. It's like a bright yellow. And this is what Cruz looked like in the show. She's like a gold now. On the top says, Cars on the Road. There's the cartoony version of Radiator Springs. Cover, cover, uh, anyway. Uh, as seen in Cars on the Road. Prototype picture of Cruz. Racing Center Cruz Ramirez. And so much languages I'm not even going to read. So without any more chit chat, let's get to unboxing this absolute gorgeous car. Oh my goodness, this car looks even more gorgeous out of the package. The Racing Center Cruz Ramirez appeared in the last episode of Cars on the Road, getting hit. Surprisingly, Cruz's cousin, Mateo, is marrying Mater's sister, Mato. If anyone didn't see Cars on the Road and if is watching this video right now, I'm very sorry that I spoiled it for you. But this cruise looks awesome in a, a very nice metallic gold. She looks beautiful. So let's take a look at her. So in the front, there's her nice smile, which is actually different from the regular Dynaco Cruise because the, the, uh, the back of, it, of her mouth is painted red. There's her headlights. On the side says Dynaco in blue, 51, which one thing I've noticed with Cruz is that the 51 is slanted in the other way. The 51 on the regular Cruz was slanted this way, but on the Cars on the Road one is slanted this way. Like, 
up a hill, then down the hill. One thing that I've noticed as well is that the 51 is actually lighter. But one thing I've wished on Cruz Ramirez that Mattel could have done and even Pixar could have done is that I, w I did like the 51 in Mattel Blue. I wish they would do that here, but she didn't. They didn't. Wait, get off the way. She has gray rims, but actually in the show, she has silver rims. She has a bronze uh, dinosaur in the background. Oh, there's her exhaust pipes, by the way. On the back, there's her tail lights with the 51 CRS logo and nothing else. No rookie stripes. Same thing on the other side, but flips, but with the addition of the gas cap. Nothing in the hood. 51 on the roof. Her eyes are brown with a different kind of expression. Wait, yeah, there you go. Spoiler is golden, but since it's made out of plastic, it doesn't really match the body, but it's okay. I don't really mind. And that's basically it for the review of the Racing Center Cruiser Maris. Let's start comparing her. The first one is going to be... Oh, the lighting here sucks. Oh, oh, the lighting sucks. Oh, there you go. Fixed it. So the first one is the Dynaco Cruise. When if I before I got the Racing Center Cruise, whenever I would do like remakes with Cars on the Road, I would use Dynaco Cruise for it because it's like the closest. I can't use Rusty's Cruise for it because even though she doesn't have any anything on the hood and spoiler, and she does have a little bit of dirt for some reason, she doesn't really match up. Especially because of the wheels. Cru this one is like red. This one's a blue next gen. This is a red Lightning McQueen wheel. And this is like a gray next gen. And I like how Cruz returned to her classic silver wheels. Just like she were when we met her. Uh, her two is the Golden Lightning McQueen. If anyone didn't pair up these two amazing cars... What are you doing? These two look perfect with each other. And yes, I did play some uh, gold elements on this Lightning McQueen. Because since he was shipping so much, I decided to add that. But if anyone didn't add that, uh, if, if anyone didn't match up Golden Rusty's Lightning McQueen from 2021 with the brand new Racing Center Cruise from 2022, what are you doing? They look as cute as heck. They look beautiful. They look awesome. Anyway... That's the last review of the haul. Oh, the lighting here sucks again. Here's the one I have, and here is the one that I was gifted. Okay. It doesn't really look all that much different to me. Besides, I think, bigger lipstick, but I think that's just me. This, she still has the punches for the axles and whatnot. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense... Uh, me unboxing a car that I only have, I already have, that it already has like three chips, but they're like very small ones that no one would like care about because no one really cares about Chisaki nowadays. Because back in 2021, if you guys remember, she was first released by Thailand. But when she got released in 2022, many people started to not care about her because she started to turn one of those common cars that no one likes. Now look, I have two Chisakis and one Suki. Maybe, I'm just saying, maybe I'll leave this in the package, sell it so I can make money, or I'll keep it in the package for special needs. And there's still, oh, the barcode's there. In front of the name. Anyway. That was basically it for the review of Racing Center Cruz Ramirez, which is down here. Thank you so much for watching. Champion Racer Collection signing out. See you guys in the next video. My world is a document. I can put it in a disco. It's my key to the world.